The Georgia Bulldogs, like Penn State, didn't have the season they'd hoped to, but they have the talent across the board to make a win on the second, a tough task for the Lions. While Georgia's depth at back may be murky due to injuries, Penn State's Barkley should be completely healthy. But the Bulldogs' rush game is still a concern for the Lions. They're dangerous in that sense that if you get them out in space, you know, they have speed that they can score in one play. So we've got to contain the run game. We've got to, you know, shut that down and, and force them to be one-dimensional, which is the pass game. Shutting down a team's offense is really where Georgia shines. You know, I think they have the number one pass defense in the country. They got some really good players up front and overall really, really good physical fast defense. So we we'll definitely have a challenge ahead of ourselves. The challenge doesn't stop there as Penn State will need to concentrate on one of their struggles, special teams. Isaiah McKenzie, um, five foot, 870 pound sophomore. He's been electric as a returner. So that's going to be a real focus for us for the next week and a half. The pressure of facing a team like Georgia in a bowl game doesn't affect the Lions leader. At the end of the day, it's football. So I just try and prepare like each and every game, go out and execute. And I think that's going to be the biggest part for us. And, uh, you know, it's going to give us a chance to win the game. And that's, that's what we all want to do. And that's ultimately the goal. A win in Jacksonville feels crucial for this Penn State team that's looking to end their season on a high note after going on a three-game losing streak. But capping their season at an eight and five record will not be easy against these well-balanced Bulldogs. At Beaver Stadium, Kariosep, Six Sports.